illustrations by Pete. Oh, we're at the park. There's a ton of people here. There's uh, quite a bit going on. People are enjoying themselves. So this is a test. I have a new lens. I want to see if it loses me at all. It's an autofocus test on this. It did pretty good inside the studio. I don't know what it's going to do out here. It, it works because it's a wider angle, so I don't have to sit there with it. I had a long tripod. It was a long thing. It looked ridiculous. Now at least it's on a stick. Maybe a little bit more respectable. We'll see. So in this one, I started off trying to show you something and it wasn't working. What I got from that was much better. It was a much better video because it was messed up. I was trying to show you a gouache abstract landscape and it just wasn't working out. So I just kept at it. I just kept going. And I always tell you to do that. If you just finish the piece, even though you could tear it up, you could throw it away. It could be done. You don't, it's no good anymore. You don't want it. You don't want to do that. You want to finish it. Just go, and the more I did, the better I liked it. So in the end, I ended up with something that I actually like. So as you're watching the video, just keep in mind, <laughs> refrain yourself from trying to correct everything I'm doing wrong. I know I'm doing it wrong. I was trying to do something to show you how to do something. It didn't work out, it's okay. But I always tell you to keep going and keep producing that piece, just finish it. So that's what I did. I continued, I finished it. I did everything that I needed to do. And I, I, at the end, I was happy with it. It wasn't exactly what I wanted. It wasn't exactly what I pictured, but it was okay. And in the end, everything worked out. Has that background, is it so blurry? This is what you want for an artist blog, trust me. They don't even write stories like this anymore. So I picked the right time of year to start doing this. The trees are pretty, there's bugs everywhere, they're flying everywhere. They're swarming over here. I didn't notice. That was a dumb, dumb mistake. Fall and spring are by far my favorite times of year to be outside. I'm not keen on the summer, the winter, eh. But spring and fall, just things are changing. Stuff is happening. It's more exciting to be outside and be around. My battery's about to die. I didn't check that before I came out here because I'm a moron. And sometimes that happens. And that's basically what happened in this video. But I'm gonna finish this and I finish that. You'll see. We're gonna get into it right after you buy an Illustrations by Pete t-shirt. All right, we'll get to the studio. Okay, well, what happened here was not exactly what I wanted to do, and what I want to do, I don't want to tell you yet because I'm going to try and do it again, but in this particular video, I used this angular brush, and it's um, the Princeton Aqua Elite. I have been wanting to use these for a very long time and just try them out. They're beautiful brushes, and I love the angled brushes, or the sword brushes, or the dagger brushes, or whatever you want to call them. I like the short stubby ones though. I, I like the angle brushes more than the sword. I think Simply Simmons calls it a sword brush, but it's more just an angle. It's not necessarily a very long, thin, tapered brush. So I like these stubby ones. You can flip it on this side and you'll see me get some a little bit of smaller detail in there. But uh, really what I wanted to do with this is just practice this gouache painting there's some I put some black watercolor ground in the sketchbook and then I started going at it with gouache and gouache you can layer and layer you can remove layers which I also did you can do so much with it if you mess something up you can always tune it a little bit you can you can move it around you can help it a little bit and you'll see me go back and forth and back and forth and finally I got an effect that I was trying to get in that sky and that was what was important to me 
Um, the other stuff I was just adding a little detail here and there and just making it kind of abstract just an abstract landscape is all I was trying to do but uh, I was trying to do it a little bit differently I'll show you in another video anyway it doesn't matter this came out great I ended up loving how it came out I think it came out very well I think it came out more um, more like an abstract landscape than anything that resembles anything in particular so that's exactly what I wanted to do to begin with. I think it worked out okay. And really, if you ask me, did I overwork this? I don't know. I don't, I've, I have a hard time understanding that overwork thing. Unless you completely destroy the painting and it, it turns into something that is complete opposite of what you wanted. Overworking, I think, is a myth. I think people kind of... It's a it's a conspiracy to make people sound better. So when they do something and then it doesn't come out right, they say, oh, well, you know, I just overworked it a little bit. I think it's just an excuse is all it is. It's not really a thing. Overworked is unless you completely destroyed the piece after it was good, then maybe you've overworked it because you went too far or maybe you put too much into it and you should have stopped earlier. I can understand that. But people, oh, oh don't overwork your, your painting. Well, tell me what that is. For you, what's overworked may not be for me. Then I see people do that all the time. Oh, this, this painting was a little overworked. And I'm looking at it thinking, that's a great painting. I don't understand what you're talking about, what you're looking at. It's just because they think it's not good enough and they need to come up with an excuse. I think that's all that is. But anyway, so one thing you will notice about this is because I used a black background, it's kind of a moody color. Yes, I brightened it up, I made it look a little bit nice, but it just feels moody because it was done on a black watercolor ground instead of on a white page or white ground or something like that. And uh, I think that changes the mood of the painting. I think it changes the mood of what you're trying to do. And I really enjoy doing that. I love painting on a black background. I usually use the Legion uh, cold press black watercolor paper. And that's a great, it's the, the Stonehenge Aqua. That's the name of it. And it's the black one. And I love painting on that. But I did this in here because I also love the texture in these Etcher sketchbooks. And this is the cold press and I just enjoy it so I tried to put some watercolor ground down on it and see how that would go okay now I am just a scrubby little youtuber artist who street vlogs and I had this weird realization this epiphany moment and it could be because I'm you know I'm I'm in my 40s and I realized is this could be my midlife crisis this could be what snuck up on me I think I'm here, but does it matter that this is my midlife crisis? Probably not. Am I doing anything that's that could hurt me or that could do so have some weird effect on my life? Probably not. I'm just doing a YouTube channel, some art stuff, vlogging, trying to change my career up here and see what's going on. I'm not really uh, doing. There's so many other things I could be doing. That if for a midlife crisis, I could be blowing all of my money on, you know, cars that are stupid that I shouldn't even drive and I don't want to drive anyway. I could be spending my money in so many other areas and instead I got into this. So I don't think it's so bad. I think what I'm doing is okay. I just think that maybe this is what happened. I don't see too many other people out here in their 40s. I'm walking around vlogging. Everybody else is much, much younger than me. And I I mean, it could be okay because, hey, I, maybe I have, well, I don't have any kind of dignity, but maybe I have a little bit of respect from people. I'm a little bit older. Or maybe they look at me and say, this guy is weird. He's old. He's out here. He's vlogging like he's a teenager or in his 20s or something. I don't know. Maybe it's weird. I don't really care. But it could be. But I, I just, I'm enjoying myself. I'm having fun. I'm interacting with you guys. I'm almost, almost at the 500 mark. Very excited about that. If I could hit that before the end of the year, it's like the race to 500 before the end of the year. That would be great. Uh, 500 subscribers is a, is a big milestone. So it's a, it's, you hit into that tab where you can start leaving 
comments for your community and that's wonderful that's actually what i'm looking forward to more than anything and i think uh i think it's just a fun thing to do i encourage you if you've ever thought about it do it you have a phone just record yourself a little bit talk to people oddly enough people care about other people's mundane lives i don't do anything exciting there's no I'm not jumping ramps and doing all weird stuff and car chases and stuff in my vlogs. I'm, they're just, I'm walking in a park or I'm walking around a neighborhood. I'm getting some footage of some squirrels or birds, or maybe some ducks or geese. Nobody really cares. It's just, I'm just having fun. I put some music to it. Maybe people like it. And I'm just having some fun. I want you to have fun too. Try it. Just do little stupid things. No one really cares anyway. And if no one sees it, then who cares? And the people that do see it, you'll probably never see, ever. Unless you become a huge YouTube star. And then, three people in your lifetime will recognize you on the street. And say, hey, I, I see your show. It probably sucks. So that's about it. That's about it. Don't worry about that stuff. Don't worry about those people. that All the stuff Oh, that you get hated on when you're a vlogger. Who cares? Here's the, the truth. If someone sees you outside vlogging, they're so concerned with their own life that they don't give a damn what you're doing. They don't care what you're doing. They really don't pay any attention to you. They're so absorbed in their own thing. And, and then, so don't worry about that part. As far as on YouTube, you get a hater comment, who cares? You're gonna find people who support you, who actually stand behind you, who, they rally behind you. They try and encourage you. And you're going to have one or two people that say, what are you doing? This is a dumb career. This is a dumb thing you're doing. And maybe it's not your career. But maybe this is just a dumb thing. Uh, who, You know, a YouTube vlogger is probably one of the least most respected professions you could have. It's, it's probably one of the most least respected hobbies you can have. But who cares? It is so fun to get out there and just do stuff. It's kind of like art. Most of the stuff that goes on here, no one really cares about. When people watch art tutorials on YouTube, they think they're learning something. But most of the time, they're they're just being entertained by that thing. They're not actually... It, you can... People get down the rabbit hole. They, they watch a video, and they go to the next video, and the next video, and the next video, and the next video. And do you think that they retain all the information and details from all those videos? No, they don't. Instead, they get a little something that just, there's one thing maybe that clicks with them. And they keep that. And they are entertained by that person. They end up getting behind the person. They become more interested in supporting someone than actually applying that thing. So if this is my midlife crisis, if this is how I'm spending my time, and I want this to be more than a hobby, this is, I'm trying to build a life here doing this. I think this is one of the greatest things anyone can do is start a YouTube channel and share something with other people, whether it's a skill, talent, um, whether it's something that you're just thinking about or creating or creative and you can just do something a certain way that other people can't do it. Or maybe people can do it that way. You're just one of them that can do it. I think sharing that with someone is very important. And or, and you, can, you don't have to have a channel to do that. You can be on the other end of that and supporting the people that have the channel and be just as creative, be just as supportive. It's not taking up a whole lot of your time and you're helping other people and it's just something you're doing it's like a hobby of helping people what is wrong with that I don't think there's anything wrong with that I hope you don't either because I enjoy interacting with you and I hope you do with me I hope you get something out of it if you watch my video you don't get anything out of it what's the point there's no point in that get something out of it okay well anyway like I was saying I'm out there doing it most of the time I feel like a loser. What am I doing? Am I even helping anyone? But really when I sit down and think about it at the end of the day, I'm happy with what I'm doing. I'm enjoying this. I love doing it. I love sharing with you guys. And, and I hope you enjoy watching it. So once in a while I get a good video that gets a lot of views. And sometimes I put out a video there's no views. Uh, except for a few of you always watch my videos. And I really appreciate that from you. 
and um, and it's just this is just what it is. It's just a big group of people doing stuff. It doesn't have to mean much as long as it's something. I think that's good. Well, if you want to see some more of something good, you can watch one of these other videos, and I'll see you in the next video.